Hey everybody, this is Hake Hardware, and in this video we are going to go over how to prepare a micro SD card in Ubuntu for installing an operating system on something like the CM3588 eMMC storage. So we're going to flash the micro SD card, and then what's going to happen is when you put the micro SD card in the CM3588, boot it up, it's going to automatically install the operating system on the eMMC storage. But there are a few things I like to do to prepare my micro SD cards just to make sure the process goes smooth. All these steps probably aren't needed or required, but I like to do them just to make sure everything is perfect. So first off, you should have the ISO, or it's not going to be an ISO, but it's going to be like a zip file, the image basically for the operating system already installed because we're going to be copying that over. And then what we're going to do, uh, if you don't have a micro SD card reader, I've got an affiliate link here for one that I use. And if you need some micro SD cards, again, these are ones that I use. Uh, I get a small commission if you click those links and purchase something. So if you want to support the channel and want to support the wiki, motivate me to make more videos, feel free to use those. If not, no big deal. And then another thing, just make sure you're selecting the right device because we are going to be wiping uh, the disk. So if there is uh, like a mistake made and you wipe the wrong disk, it's going to be not a good day. So as with anything where we're wiping disks, make sure you have backups, make sure you're double checking that you're actually wiping the disk that you want to wipe. So with that said, uh, this guide is going to be linked in the description of the video. And I'm going to be mostly in the terminal for this one. I like to do this type of stuff just in the terminal. I think it's a little bit easier, a little bit cleaner. And it's easy to copy and paste commands instead of like following and trying to figure out you know, where I'm clicking and all that stuff. So let's actually bring up the shell here. And we're going to just list out our devices. So we'll do LSBLK. I've got a lot going on here. Um, this SDA I know is mine because... A, I've already used it. Uh, it did get mounted, it looks like, so we're going to have to unmount it. Uh, but I've used this before, and I've actually already uh, put data on it and done a few installs with it just to make sure it works. So we're going to be wiping this, all these partitions and everything out, and uh, working on this one. So what we can do here um, is basically just make sure it's unmounted. So only SDA1 was mounted so we can do sudo u mount dev sda1 then if we do lsblk we can see it's no longer mounted and then we're just going to go ahead and wipe it so it's pretty quick sudo wipe fs dash a and then dev sda so you don't need to put one two or three or anything like that you're just going to do a and then if we were to do lsblk again we can see now all those partitions are gone we basically just wiped everything out we're going to be starting fresh. And really what's cool is at this point we can just unzip our image and push it onto our SD card. And that's really it. So it's pretty straightforward. Let me just double check, make sure I still have the image in. I do have the image still in my downloads directory. So I can actually just copy this command um, up here. You can kind of see it at the top here. I can just copy this command, paste it in. And of course, I need to update SDX to my actual card here. And that's going to be SDA. And we can hit Enter. And it's going to copy things over. Now, this does take a little bit of time because these SD cards are not super fast. And once it's done, it's going to take, I, it actually took like over a minute where I just had to kind of wait for the prompt and the cursor to appear once it's finished. And that's just because it's flushing out uh, like all the data and just making sure it's all there. Um, and then one last thing, uh, I'll speed this up in a second here so that it finishes, but you're just gonna run sync and then eject the uh, SD card and then you'll be done. So let's just uh, speed this up here and I'll be back when it's complete. All right, so we are finished up here. Uh, it took about 384 seconds for everything to happen. And we'll just do 
uh, real quick, sync, and then sudo eject dev SDA. And at that point, you can pull out the micro SD card and install it in the CM3588 and then return to whichever guide you were working on previously. All right, hopefully that was helpful and I will see you in the next video.